creating a project for a company called Door 6. Here we have some drawings, first of all, just um, how we're going to visualise the whole thing. It's, it's about a four metre pole with a brain on the top, and this is how it's going to sit within the desk. Starting work on the brain section, we've taken some images from the internet, and basically we want to create a large brain with all the kind of um, the nuances that it has. And here I am looking at the side images, and then the front image and the plan. Sticking two blocks of polystyrene together with a foam, and there we have the dogs. Um, and instead of using hot wire this time, I've decided to use a chainsaw, and I can nibble it away and move it around in sections. The chainsaw is quite handy as I can take away little areas of it and I can actually sand it down and grind it as if I'm using a large riffler as well. Here I am in fast motion just taking it off really quickly and just whittling it away until I end up with the basic shape of the brain itself. Here I am working down the surface um, with a nail brush and here I'm showing you the nail brush, it's just a big brush with large nails in. Nothing clever, nothing sophisticated, but it does take off a big area very, very quickly. Secondly, I go to work with a wire brush and I'm homing it down a bit more and I'm actually getting the nice contours and the forms of the brain itself. Thirdly, I'm using a riffler. This is um, a kind of a rasp and I'm carved out the areas and I'm trying to make them lovely kind of bubbly feeling of the brain as if the last sausage is just pinched together. Now when I'm happy with the wire brush, the nail brush, the riffler and the sandpaper, I go to work on the complete surface of it and making sure it's, it's visually pleasing to the eye and I've lost all that plucking motion of the polystyrene. Because the client wanted some lights put in the brain as if it's the neutrons and the, the brain all thinking and firing around all over the place, we carved the channels a lot deeper than we thought we had to in the first place and this was just to make sure the rope went inside and trapped itself uh, and sat really comfortable uh, within the joints. Here we are adding a rope light um, to the brain itself and making sure that we've got enough to go all around and also it had to be made in two halves so we actually got three lengths of 10 meter rope. Now with the three LED lights put in place um, we can actually turn the LED lights only at four inches of circumference so we had to be very careful on how we went in and out of the brain. And also there was a lot of the um, LED light lost on the inside which kind of felt like a waste but it was the only way to fill up the whole brain externally. Here I am now just filling the surface, there's any little pluck holes from the polystyrene uh, and then we're making good the joints on the two bits of polystyrene which were fixed together. The LED light is in place and now I'm blacking in the deeper spots of the, um, the lower sort of brain matter and I'm adding three colours, four colours perhaps, a black, a red, a pink and a white and even a touch of blue like, to help the LED light out. Now after several layers, um, I'm actually adding some detail like the little brain veins and everything else and I'm using an airbrush to do this instead of a big large um, spray gun and I can get some lovely little details put in and I can accentuate this as I finish up. Now just to make sure the actual LEDs stay alight and it's doing exactly as we want, uh, we keep it on a certain function to give that li lovely kind of sparking and, and randomness throughout. And we also leave it on for three days to make sure the lights work consistently. Also we're getting to work on the base and that actually comes apart in three sections. The bottom, the middle long tube and the part that inserts into the centre of the brain. This on site then goes inside the exhibition cabinet and then you have the long tube which is going to be stove enamel sprayed uh, and then the part which is lost inside the brain so it all fixes together nicely. 
This particular job was a nice quick turnaround uh, and very enjoyable to do as well. So thank you very much indeed, Door 6 Limited.